As the war against fentanyl continues to rage on, local and state leadership are trying to step in. During her State of the State address, Governor Ivey addressed the fentanyl problem and took a hard stance against it, saying something needs to be done. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, today you spoke with one local lawmaker who is proposing a bill which will carry mandatory prison sentences for fentanyl dealers. That's right, Kim. Governor Ivey calling on lawmakers to pass this piece of legislation to protect our children. Unfortunately, we have to worry about the safety of our children in so many more ways today, including by dangerous and lethal drugs like fentanyl. During her State of the State address, Governor Kay Ivey said she has instructed Aaliyah to make combating fentanyl a top priority of the Alabama Drug Task Force. And I'm also urging you, our legislators, to pass House Bill 1 so I can sign it into law as soon as possible. By doing this, we will put any traffickers of this deadly drugs behind bars and keep them there. So what House Bill 1 will do is it add mandatory minimum sentences, prison terms for those who traffic fentanyl into our community. Simpson says if traffickers are arrested with between one and two grams of fentanyl and they're convicted, they'll serve a mandatory minimum sentence of three years. If traffickers have between two and four grams of fentanyl, they'll serve 10 years of convicted. If it's between four and eight grams, they'll serve 25 years of found guilty. And if it's more than eight grams of fentanyl, traffickers will get a life sentence if convicted. Simpson says it's time we take fentanyl seriously. If you're sitting at a diner, you know, you have a sweet and low packet, this, that's one gram. One gram of pure fentanyl can kill up to 500 people. So 0.2 milligrams is a lethal dose. A report last week by Quote Wizard used CDC data and found that overdose deaths in Alabama are up 15% over the last year. The report finds our state's increase is the eighth highest increase in the nation. It's killing our kids. It's killing our community. Simpson says Governor Ivey's comments gave him a vote of confidence, optimistic this bill will be passed into law. Every time I go anywhere, every time I go out, someone approaches me and talks about how fentanyl has affected their family, the deaths that have occurred. Uh, you know, this is something that our community is aware of, that we know is going on around there, and we need to do this, and that's why this bill fights it. He says he anticipates this will be the first bill they vote on during the regular session. Kim?